So I just wanted to make a quick video about this hotfix. This is what we need. We need more stuff like this, you know, less updates, less bizarre items being implemented and more updates like this. So this came out on January 16th, this Tuesday. Uh, they did some exploit fixes and the biggest one to me is removed a method for creating floating ceilings. Address several under mesh locations and a method for traveling from under mesh bases. Okay, Funcom, this is great. Keep doing this. Keep pumping these kind of updates out. They also added a building validation enabled into the INI files. I am curious if this is enabled on official because it says setting this to true will upon server startup destroy any building piece with no stability. Note to server admins, consider carefully whether to turn this on or not and perhaps testing locally first as constructions made before most recent bug fixes might be impacted. So I'm curious to see if that's something that was enabled on official. Maybe I should browse through the forums and see if anyone's complaining and lost their base. I'm assuming this is something related to sky bases that they're hoping to eliminate the ability of people building you know in stable structures in places that they shouldn't these are good updates i like seeing things like this i need to do more like this put more time and effort into updates and fixes like this like these are things we have been asking for forever now and you know hey maybe it's a good sign you know if they keep doing stuff like this that would be great uh, i have heard some reports that people are crashing more since this hot fix I have not been crashing. I have been playing recently and see no issues with this update. I haven't, it hasn't caused me to crash any more than Conan itself causes me to crash. I think I've crashed once in about a 20 hour play period recently. So they did some things with buildings and placeables and that's stuff I don't really care about. They, they finally fixed something that I have always griped about. The crafting fixes for dead leg and the glasser now correctly requires an improved workbench or better to be crafted. How many times I had to throw down a normal blacksmith bench just to craft these things in the past. And it, it's amazing that it took years to actually fix this. But you know what? I'm happy it's fixed. Maybe they'll keep fixing things at a relative pace. I doubt it. We probably won't have a hot fix for a while, but I can be hopeful. I mean, I'm, I'm happy about this one. Combat fixes. Jabal Sag is now or is no longer invulnerable to projectile attacks. I didn't even know that was an issue. It is some AI and NPC fixes. Camels can now be placed in stables. Prisoners rescued from cages on Isle of Sipta will no longer be ungrateful and just walk away. Thralls now consistently turn to face their enemies before taking a swing at them. Thralls assigned to bar stools and other less important objects now return to their correct position after a bar fight and other less important activities. So, you know, some little things here, some balances stuff. Purge demolishers have been toned down. Uh, some general bug fixes here. Uh no, nothing that I really care about. It's mostly related to their newer content and stuff like that that they've implemented into the game. And then, of course, some UI and text fixes. But I'm very happy to see exploit fixes on the top of the list. I like to see them that they're talking about floating ceilings, which we all know they're talking about sky bases. I know of a couple methods of how people accomplish these things, so I'm not sure if people will just find a workaround for this. I do hope this helps. I really hope the building validation enabled is enabled on official servers to maybe help with sky bases, mesh bases, and whatnot. But if Funcom can actually put more updates out like this, and I mean... It may have taken them years to do the whole dead leg and glasser thing. And you know what? Whatever. They're getting around to it, I guess. Right. I guess that's how I have to look at it. So maybe in like, you know, 10 years, we'll actually have a solid game. But all jokes aside, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about this. Maybe if you haven't been playing Conan or you haven't seen this yet, but you know, that's the right direction. If they keep doing hot patches and stuff like this, updates like this that can actually benefit the game. I'm all for it. So let's see if they keep it up or if they just end up breaking more things with these hot fixes. I hope it's not like, yeah, I, let's hope it doesn't go in that direction, but I'll see you guys in the next one.